Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of my Salesforce admin series, where I am posting a videos of a 10 to 15 minute on a Salesforce administrator. So if you are new on my channel, so please do subscribe to the channel and press a bell icon for a further notification. In the last video, we talk about the introduction to Salesforce, where we discuss about what is a Salesforce, what is a CRM, and we also create our first Salesforce org, and also talk about the difference between a Salesforce Classic and Salesforce Lightning. So if you haven't watched this video, then you can find the link in a description box or about type top right corner of my videos. So let's get started with the Salesforce admin part two. First, we will look into what topic we are going to cover in the Salesforce architecture and Salesforce data model. We are going to look into the following top topics. First, we will talk about the multi-tenant architecture of a Salesforce. Then we talk about the database table conventional database table and the salesforce object similarities and difference then we talk about the standard object and custom object in salesforce then we talk about the fields which is also known as a data types in a salesforce then we talk about the relationship in the salesforce like what is the lookup relationship and what is the master data relationship then we talk about the schema builder in salesforce so let's get start multi-tenant architecture in salesforce so if we talk about the multi-tenant then is an architecture in which a single instance of a software application serve a multiple customer each customer is called as a tenant in this way a software application in a multi-tenant architecture can share a special dedicated instance of a configuration data user management and other property multi-tenancy is a fundamental technology that clouds uses to share the IT resources cost effectively and securely just like a bank in which many tenant cost effectively share a hidden common infrastructure yet utilize a defined set of a secure service with complete privacy from other tenant a cloud uses a multi-tenant technology to share a IT resource securely among a multiple applicant and tenant that is business or organization that uses a cloud. Some cloud uses a virtual based architecture to isolate tenant, other uses a customer software. So Salesforce is a cloud based multi-tenant architecture. Let's discuss about the database table versus a Salesforce object. You can think of a Salesforce object as being similar to a SQL server database table or Oracle database table with many additional properties. To simplify your development, so Salesforce provide many out of box element as well as given ability to create your own element. So in this image, you can look into that. This table is known as an object in Salesforce and whatever the column in this table is that this is known as a field in Salesforce and every row in this table is known as a record in a Salesforce. So and the value to that each column is have a data values. So if you compare the RD BMS table to a S object, then a table equal to object in a Salesforce, column equal to fields in a Salesforce. And if you talk about the primary key, then it's the ID or external key in a Salesforce. Or if you talk about a foreign key, then it's a relationship, either a lookup relationship or a master data relationship. And if you talk about the row, then it's the record in a Salesforce. Let's discuss about what is a standard object and custom object in Salesforce. So object are a database table that allow us to store data specific to the organization in Salesforce. So in Salesforce, there are two type of object. One is a standard objects and another is a custom object. So the standard object is the object that provided by the salesforce.com is called a standard object. Example, like a account, contact, opportunity, leads, product, campaign, cases, user, contract, report and dashboard. These all are the example of a standard object so let's talk about the custom object the custom object created by a user or called as a custom object so if the user create any object in a salesforce then that called as a custom object custom object store information that is unique and important to your organization custom object are the heart of your application because we always going to modify the standard process to utilize in our own benefit in salesforce so custom object have a property such as the api name always ending with the double underscore c we have a custom field in that custom object 
relationship to the other object either with the other custom object or with the other standard object we have a page layout and we have a custom user interface tab let's discuss what is the api data type and salesforce feed so generally api data type and the fields type in the user interface have the same name for example a date field is represented by a date data type in the api however some fields type are represented differently depending on the whether you are inspecting on a object via api or user interface so if we talk about there are few api type like a id string boolean and double and depend on a various type we have a other also so corresponding to that we have a fields in the salesforce like if it is id then it must be a record id or lookup relationship or master detail or if it is a string then it may be a auto number email phone number pick list multi pick list text text area url long text area so there is a different scenarios we can use that string in the salesforce field type so if it is a boolean so we salesforce provide for that is a checkbox if you are using a double then maybe it's a currency formula number percentage or some rule of summary so varies by type when the formula field are means when the formula field is created in the salesforce a type must be specified this type correspond to the api data type of the same name like a currency date date time number percent or text this we will study more about when we discussing the formula field in our section so let's move to the next section so what is the master detail relationship and lookup relationship with salesforce so if you don't know about the relationship then let me tell you about the relationship relationship is mean when two table or two object in a salesforce are attached with some connection so that connection or that bond is known as a relationship in a salesforce either we use a master detail relationship or a lookup relationship both have their advantage and disadvantage so let's look into that so if you want to control the parent then we go with the master detail or if you want to have a loosely bond then we go with the lookup relationship so in master the mandatory field is a child record so if you have a master relationship then the child records should have a mandatory field for that in the lookup that is a optional by default the relationship cannot be changed so relationship can be changed means if you have a master data relationship then you can't change it into the lookup relationship but if you have a lookup relationship then you can change it to the master relation so parent relation lead to the child relation means it's a cascading relation when the master record is deleted then the child record is automatically get deleted but in the lookup relationship it's not happen like if you delete the master record then it's not going to delete your child record also so child inherit the security from a parent it means that whenever the uh, you provide any access or security to your salesforce object of a master then that access and security will given to the salesforce child object of that master but that will not happen in the lookup relationship child does not inherit the security of its parents if you want to convert a master detail lookup then you can you can convert it by creating a master detail relationship to a lookup relationship as long as the role of summary field exists on the master you can also convert a lookup relationship to the master detail relationship but only if the lookup field in all record contain a value let's talk about the schema builder in salesforce so the various object and their relationship of a salesforce application can easily viewed in a schema builder so a schema builder has a drag and drop interface which is used to perform all the activity it so all the relevant detail like a field value data type relationship with a direction etc let me open a salesforce and see so you let me open a salesforce and show you where you can find a schema builder so if you already logged in your salesforce then you just go there click on this gear icon click on the setup and on this quick find box just search for the schema you can see i got the schema builder let's click there so this is a salesforce schema builder you can clear all first for demo purpose let me choose account and contact 
so you can see the above is the account object and below is the contact object and it is showing their relationship if you go there it's so that it's a lookup relationship from a contact to account if you go this it shows that there is a lookup relationship from contact to contact also if you go there it shows that there are hierarchy from account to account that they may be related with the hierarchy also so this is what a schema builder is doing thanks for watching my video if you like this tutorial then hit like button on this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel so please do subscribe and press a bell icon for a further notification